Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Chetan here from Double Cube, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys to create a cool, simple app icon, which is more of to do with the, with the you know, like a, like a music player or a, a video player. Uh, it, it's pretty simple and the inspiration I got from Dribble. I'm gonna link the post of that uh, You know in the description so you guys can see the original one and also the person who made it uh, So yeah, so that's pretty much it and let's get started So I'm gonna go to file and I click on new and I'm gonna choose the width and height of 1000 by 1000 pixels resolution 72 Color profile you can set this to working RGB and I click on okay uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to start off with the background. So I'm going to go and double click. Uh, let's see, how do we add? Do we add a gradient? Um, okay, let's actually double click on the background. Let's click on OK. And uh, we can double click getting our layer style, blending options, blending modes. Uh, we can go to color overlay. And let's choose a very subtle uh, pinkish color, right? Pinkish purple color, like so. Like like you know like something like so I think this is good yeah and we'll go ahead and click on okay and let's zoom in a little bit so we can see all right so let's start off with uh, you know the shape so let's go ahead and grab ourselves the shape tool so which is the all uh, the rounder rectangle tool uh, and uh, so if we if I go ahead and draw a rectangle you see this is what I'm gonna get but I kind of want a little bit more of the curves so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to like 40 uh, I think maybe I need something more. Let's actually close that. Let's delete it. Let's hold down shift So it gets a uniform box and probably gonna set this to a hundred. Oops. I need something like uh, okay Not hundred hundred by hundred looks good. Yeah Hundred is looking good and I uh, go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and just close this up And we're gonna have something that looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and center this vertically and horizontally Right there we go. Let's zoom a little bit more closer so we can actually have a better look uh, actually, I think I want to go ahead and make this a little bit more round all right here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to probably 130. Yeah uh, I mean, I'm gonna go even more 150 oops 160 yeah, that uh, I think I'm gonna stick with 150 150 and that, that's looking pretty good not bad Really great. All right, so to, let's, let's fill this up with a color. So I'm going to double click to get the color color overlay, and I'm going to choose a nice, almost grayish black dark color, something like this, looking good. Click on OK, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see, I'm going to add in a circle by getting the shape tool, get the ellipse tool, hold down Shift and Alt, and we'll go ahead and create you know a circle like so. But uh, we want to make it a little bit more bigger, so uh, let's just make it bigger. So, whoops. Let's Control T. I'm gonna scale it up. Make sure it's aligned horizontally and vertically in the center. So, plus Control A, and make sure on the Move tool, and you can click on these two buttons, and that's gonna center it out. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this, and I'm gonna go and uh, add in a stroke. And the stroke is going to be positioned on the inside or outside. It doesn't actually matter. We can even keep it on the center. And uh, let's increase this like a couple of points. So I think I would go with probably six uh, or five. I think five looks good. And the color, we can choose it to a gray color, you know, like a nice gray color. Yeah. Something like so. And click on OK. And we want to make sure that our fill is set to zero because so now we can see only the stroke. All right. So the next thing is we want to duplicate this. So we're press Control J, and we're gonna hold press Control T to transform. And whoops, Control T to transform. Let's zoom in, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, just shrink this down a little bit more, like so. Looking good. And we can go double click on this, and we can increase the stroke on this. So probably I want to set the position to inside, and uh, let's increase this up to I think nine. Line is good. Line is okay. And for the color, we're going to choose a gradient and we're going to go from the gradient from top to bottom. So we set the angle to 90 and click on this, the, the, uh, the gradient editor. And uh, over here, we're going to go and choose a purple color. So let's click on the color and we're going to choose a purple color. Uh, so something like so, pinkish purple. Yeah. And uh, for this one, I'm going to choose a cyan, cyan blue color like so. 
looking good. Uh, click on OK. I'm going to actually click on Reverse because I want it the other way around, so from top to bottom, and uh, increase the scale. Yeah, the scale is looking good. Not bad. Looks awesome for now. And uh, yeah, looking good. I'm going to go ahead and just click on OK. Now let's duplicate this one, the first copy, that is this one again, and we're going to shrink it down. So let's bring it down like so. Yeah, and uh, this time we want to reduce the stroke. So let's go ahead and just probably set this down to three and uh, make this darker, more darker, a little bit more darker, a little bit more darker. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now we can go ahead and add in a play button or a music button or whatever you want, whatever whichever button you want. So probably I'm going to go with a triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a polygon tool. Uh, okay, make sure you don't have anything selected or it's going to be a problem. Now we're going to click on the polygon tool. Okay, and um, make sure we have the side set to three and hold on shift and uh, that's going to create a triangle for us. Let's open up the properties and uh, oops. We want to make it a little bit more rounded. So let's click on smooth corners and let's draw one again. So I'm going to delete the polygon we have on the bottom. So we can stick with this polygon that we have over here. And I'm going to just go ahead and place it right in the center. So vertically and horizontally center it. Press Ctrl D to deselect everything. And uh, if it's not centered, you can manually center it up for yourself. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and go to the ellipse that we copied. So let's just start renaming this. So this is gonna be the BG, uh, which is the background, and this is gonna be the base. Uh, let's try, let's try it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this as base, and uh, the next one is gonna be a circle one, and uh, let's see, the next one is gonna be the uh, circle three, where's the second circle? The second circle yeah there we go uh, this is going to be a circle circle two it's going to be come in between and this is going to be the polygon okay so we can just call this the button so let's be u t t o n click on okay all right so now we can go ahead and copy the layer style of the circle two right click and choose copy layer style come in on the button and choose paste layer style and then we're going to something that looks like this which is really cool and really fun, looks really nice. You can probably go ahead and increase the stroke of this, so let's actually do that. So double click, let's go to the stroke, and we can probably set this to like 12 or 13, up to you, doesn't actually matter. And we can center this vertically and horizontally, looking good right now, whoops. Yeah, looking good, not bad. All right, so a little bit more uh, enhancement is by adding a little bit of drop shadow to all these parts. So we, let's go to the first one circle that we have and we're going to click on drop shadow and uh, we're going to go and set the distance set to zero and let's increase the size to like five or something. We can set the opacity to a hundred and probably set the size down to ten uh, or maybe we can set this to six or seven. I think seven is looking good. Click on OK. This is the same thing for the next one. So the second circle, double click on that. Let's do drop shadow. Set the opacity to a hundred, distance to zero. And we can give this a little bit more definition. So probably around uh, 10, I think is going to good, look good. Yeah, 10 is looking good. And then for the next circle, again, we want something pretty subtle. So I think I'm going to go ahead and actually just copy the this. So by pressing, oh, we can't do that because it's going to add in the, the color overlay as well. So we kind of have to manually do this. So let's go to drop shadow and uh, set the opacity to 100, distance set to zero, and the size, something very small, like five to six or seven. I think five is looking good. Click on OK. Well, so we can copy this layer style by pressing copy layer style, which is uh, the second one, second circles, copy layer style. Come onto the button, choose paste layer style. And uh, that's going to give us this. So you kind of have to increase, change the stroke settings again. Let's go and uh, go to the stroke. And uh, let's give it a thicker stroke. So I think around 14, 13. I think that was what we had. Maybe even 12, I think looks good. And click on OK. Uh, if the drop shadow is probably too strong, we can probably reduce down the opacity of this to 75. I'm going to do the same thing over here as well because I feel it's a pretty strong. So 75. Uh, that's looking pretty good right now. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all everything that we have and probably scale them up a little bit because I feel, you know, it's kind of too close to each other. So scale them a little bit. And uh, we can deselect this one, press Ctrl T, we can scale this one a little bit. 
uh, second one's fine. I think this main button is probably want to scale up pretty fat high, so probably like so. Looking good. You can actually do another thing. Let's duplicate, make a copy of that, but press Control J, press Control T, and we can scale this one in like so. I don't know if that looks bad. Does it look bad? Uh, yeah, that looks bad. So I'm gonna delete that, anyways. Right here you can put your letter or the name of the app or whatever it is and uh, before we finish up everything all you want to do is you want to select all this and press ctrl G to group them into a group and we'll press ctrl J to make a copy and press ctrl E to merge so now we have a single flat icon and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with the black color so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my background color is black and I'm gonna hold down ctrl and click on the thumbnail it's gonna create a selection I'm gonna press Ctrl and delete, and that's gonna fill it up with back black. Gonna delete to deselect. Press Ctrl T. I'm gonna scale this down like so, pretty much like so, and click on OK. And uh, I'm gonna go uh, filter blur and choose a Gaussian blur. And wow, okay, that was a lot of Gaussian blur. So probably bring this down to like 20 20 percent uh, Gaussian blur. Press click on OK. I'm gonna move this behind. I'm gonna move all the shadow. And I'm gonna move it behind the group and gonna something like this and we can just bring this down and we can reduce the opacity of this to like 50% or whatever you want that's up to you completely up to you uh, maybe we can increase up to like 70% or probably 60 uh, let's scale this a little bit more down yeah like so make it more a little more harsh looking good this is looking really good actually and let's zoom out and we're gonna have something that looks like this so let maybe like so you're gonna have to fine tune it and play with to get the right settings We're looking good not really bad you know i must say so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did feel free to mention that in the comment section down below subscribe for more content you can always contact me on my social media on instagram twitter or even drop me an email and i reply to that definitely uh so that's it guys and i'll see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye bye